In this video, we are going to explain how to find the exact value of a trigonometric expressions with angles in radians and degrees using the sum and difference formulas and identities of cosine. There are two formulas that we need to remember when we are talking about the sum and difference formulas of cosine. The first one is cosine a plus b, that is cosine a times cosine b, minus sine a times sine b. And the second one is cosine a minus b, that is cosine a times cosine b plus sine a times sine b. So these are the formulas that we need to remember in order for us to find the exact value of a trigonometric expression. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have cosine 15 degrees. How can we use the sum and difference formula to evaluate cosine 15 degrees? First, we need to find two angles that can be add or subtract to 15, and that is 45 degrees and 30 degrees. If you are going to subtract 45 degrees and 30 degrees, we can get cosine 15 degrees. Therefore, we are going to use the formula cosine a minus b and cosine a minus b that is cosine a times cosine b plus sine a times sine b so let us simplify let's have cosine a that is 45 degrees minus b that is 30 degrees so this will be the value of a and this will be the value of b Cosine A is cosine 45 degrees. Cosine B, that is cosine 30 degrees. Plus sine A, that is sine 45 degrees. Sine B, that is sine 30 degrees. Cosine 45 degrees, that is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 plus sine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 and sine 30 degrees is 1 half. To simplify, let's multiply square root of 2 times square root of 3 that is square root of 6 and 2 times 2 is 4 plus square root of 2 times 1 that is square root of 2 and then 2 times 2 is 4. Since we are adding fraction with the same denominator, let us copy the denominator and let's add or let us write square root of 6 plus square root of 2. Therefore, cosine 15 degrees is square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have cosine 105 degrees. How can we find the exact value of cosine 105 degrees? What are the two angles in a unit circle that can be add or subtract to get 105 degrees? So let us have 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. If we are going to add 60 degrees and 45 degrees, we can get 105 degrees. And we are going to use cosine a plus b. Cosine a plus b, that is cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b. So let's have cosine a, that is 60 degrees, plus b, that is 45 degrees. Cosine a, that is cosine 60 Cosine B, that is cosine 45 degrees. Sine A, that is sine 60 degrees. And sine B, that is sine 45 degrees. Cosine 60 degrees, that is 1 half. And cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And then let's have sine 60 that is square root of 3 over 2 and 
sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. So let us simplify. 1 times square root of 2, that is square root of 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, minus square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6 over 2 times 2 is 4. Since we are subtracting fraction with the same denominator, let us copy the denominator and let's subtract or the right square root of 2 minus square root of 6. Therefore, cosine 105 degrees is square root of 2 minus square root of 6 over 4. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have cosine 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 6. In order for us to find the exact value of cosine 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 6, let us convert first 2 pi over 3 and pi over 6 into degrees. We will know that pi over 6 in degrees, that is 30 degrees. And 2 pi over 3, that is 120 degrees. And 120 degrees is located in quadrant 2. And the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle which is 120 degrees, that is 60 degrees. To simplify, let's have 120 degrees minus 30 degrees, that is cosine 90 degrees. And cosine 90 degrees is 0, and this will be our answer. Now, to confirm if our answer is correct using sum and difference formula, since the equation is already written in the form of difference of cosine a minus b. And cosine a minus b, that is cosine a times cosine b plus sine a times sine b. So let's have cosine 2 pi over 3, that is 2 pi over 3 minus b, that is pi over 6. So let's have cosine a, let's have cosine 2 pi over 3, and cosine b, that is pi over 6, plus sine a, that is sine 2 pi over 3, and sine b, that is sine pi over 6. Cosine 120 degrees in quadrant 2, that is negative 1 half. And cosine pi over 6, that is square root of 3 over 2. Plus sine 2 pi over 3, that is square root of 3 over 2. And sine pi over 6 is 1 half. So let us simplify. Let's have negative 1 times square root of 3, that is negative square root of 3. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Plus square root of 3 times 1, that is square root of 3, over 4. So since we are adding fraction with the same denominator, let us copy the denominator 4. And then square root of 3 plus square root of 3. So negative square root of 3 plus square root of 3, that is 0 over 4. And 0 over 4 is 0. And this will be the value of cosine 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 6. On number 4, we have cosine pi pi over 12. Since pi pi over 12 is not located in a unit circle, let us convert this one into degrees. So let's have pi pi over 12 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. We can cancel pi. And we have 5 times 180 degrees over 12. 180 degrees divided by 12, that is 15 degrees. And 15 degrees times 5 is 75 degrees. And this will be the value of pi pi over 12. Cosine pi pi over 12 is same as cosine 75 degrees. Now, what are the two angles in a unit circle that can be add or subtract to 75 degrees? And that is 45 degrees plus 
30 degrees. Therefore, we are going to use cosine A plus B. And cosine A plus B, that is cosine A times cosine B minus sine A times sine B. And cosine A, that is 45 degrees, plus B, that is 30 degrees. Cosine A is cosine 45 degrees. Cosine B is cosine 30 degrees. And sine A, that is sine 45 degrees. Sine B, that is sine 30 degrees. Cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. And then cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Minus sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And sine 30 degrees is 1 half. To simplify, square root of 2 times square root of 3, that is square root of 6 over 2 times 2 is 4. Minus square root of 2 times 1 is square root of 2 over 2 times 2 is 4. So let us copy the denominator. So let us have square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. So this will be the value of cosine 75 degrees or cosine pi pi over 12. And this will be our answer. On number 5, we have cosine 70 degrees times cosine 40 degrees plus sine 70 degrees times sine 40 degrees. Since the equation is written in the form of cosine A times cosine B plus sine A times sine B. Therefore, it will give us an idea that we are going to use cosine A minus B. The value of A is 70 degrees and the value of B is 40 degrees. So to simplify, we have cosine A that is 70 degrees minus 40 degrees that is cosine 30 degrees and cosine 30 degrees that is square root of 3 over 2 and this will be our answer. On our last example, we have cosine 20 degrees times cosine 40 degrees minus sine 20 degrees times sine 40 degrees. So this time, the equation is written in the form of cosine A times cosine B minus sine A times sine B. And we are going to use cosine A plus B. The value of A is 20 degrees. The value of B is 40 degrees. To simplify, we have cosine 20 degrees plus 40 degrees, that is cosine 60 degrees. And cosine 60 degrees is 1 half. And this will be our answer. I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.